Lions TV up at uh, Preston. We've had a few bigs here, and uh, it's a great little gaff here. Little river spoons, loving it. Got charge with my daughter, so she's happy. Seen the pop world next door. Just trying to find a um, babysitter. A bloke boat called Reese Edican. He's uh, a writer for Millwall. Fancies himself with a bit of a model, but in the dark. And he's the one that looking up the kids tonight. We're going pop world. Now let's get on with the game now, because it's fucking around here. Now Millwall today, three minutes in, they've let a very very bad goal in. I mean, it's atrocious goal. Hold up. Give me tire box over there. That's a larry old dicky dirk. Pam ram to me, mate, John. Good day, Scrooge, man. Good mate. Alright, sir. Right. That's me. Yeah, so we, 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 we let it go in three minutes. It's atrocious. It, it's, it starts off on the left hand, our left hand side. We don't deal with it on the line. It comes into feet. He, he get, and that, no, Preston bloke, fair play to him. He's, he's give the ball, he's laid it back, he's put it in the bottom right corner. I've not got a qualm of it. At this point, I thought, here we go. Are we going to blame Rowett? Oh no, we can't blame Rowett. Guess what? He ain't here anymore. And it was same old, same old. We then grew into the game after this. We, we shored it up a bit. We were always susceptible to that ball in the box, a little bit of fast play, and letting a goal in. We were always susceptible to that today. But we did play with a bit of purpose going forward. I mean, Amaku was very, very good at the centre holding the ball up. He gave them a lot of problems. Fleming. The man that comes from Amsterdam, the fucking hates West Ham, put one right in the top bins. Quality goal. We then had opportunities then to push on for it. You know, towards the end of the second, first half, we were lucky not to go in at, um, I'd say, 2-1 at the very least. But they were always a threat. They were always a threat, Preston. But we stood strong. I mean, the 700 that come up here today for a 12.30 kick-off on a Sunday morning, Saturday morning. Come on, let's have it right. That's that's a that's a decent effort. Fair play to the lads. I mean, we're hospitality. We're out. We're a couple of the Preston boys are arrangers. We come up here for a few sherbets, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with a one-all draw. I think in the depth of it, I think the only sour point is that Fleming had an opportunity last minute there, free kick, which was of his own making. He brought it down, flipped it over the gear. The gear just wiped him out. But there was so much time in between that and taking the free kick. I think it worked against us. It, it, it's sort of like after the Lord Mayor's show, it was too much and he puts it wide had he put that in the top bins that would have been the icing on the cake the cake was there to be iced and that would have iced it for us 100% we have really put a good show in for ourselves today I think we've done really well there were good performances the Ghostbuster who are you going to call where's Arden you had um, Wallace Good performances. Bart in the end, not too bad. Midfield, Denora. Denora looked really well, really good. Yeah, we looked solid over the pitch. I like Cuffey. I think Bradshaw had a tireless game up there. I think good performance all round. Adam Barrett off to a solid start. And now we're going to get really hammered in Preston and uh, taking the local scenery and the local area. And we're going to end up in Potwelds. So if you need another babysitter that's up this way for tonight, we've got two kids that need looking after two tin lids. Until then, until the Indian, until the Bombers, come on you lies. Bye!